previously on Skyward Sword HD. You are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. You must gather each of the parts of the song of the hero. Seek out the dragons and convince them to teach you their parts. Listen well, human child. I will sing you my part of the song of the hero. You learned part of the song of the hero. As it happens, almost every inch of greenery in the area is submerged. So it's here in this flooded land that I will test you. If you're up to completing the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you with the melody you see. As you just saw, I have split the melody you seek among my many tad tones, and I have hidden them around the forest. Link, here's your task. Take this score and collect all my little musical friends out there. If you can do that, well, then I'll just have to see you as someone worthy of learning the song of the hero. I will calibrate your dousing ability to locate tad tones. This capability should prove to be quite useful in your search. Hello, Internet people! I am Meteor Bolt, and this is episode 27 of my Let's Play series on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Now, we are looking for a bunch of musical tadpoles to complete a song that we're looking for, because the water dragon is being especially testy and not giving us the song right off the bat. And there's a bunch of crazy shark creatures flying around in the water. Which I don't really know how to deal with, except to try and ram into them like that. Which doesn't feel like it should work, but it does. Anyway, today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but seeing as... My brain and voice are mostly intact. I figured I'd give this a go. I'm gonna take out a couple more of these sharks because they're giving me hearts, which I need right now. I seem to remember in Majora's Mask, Zora Link could do Kind of a similar underwater spin attack to this. That just occurred to me. Um, <clears throat> also, let's see, I just gained the ability to douse for the remaining tadpoles. So I'm going to try that. Um, let's see, up, Tad Tones, they're called Tad Tones because they're musical tadpoles, okay, right down there. Oh, I think I remember seeing this one before. He's all by himself and then he runs away. Yeah, well, hopefully we can chase him down this time. There we go. Okay, now pack up. I gotta say, I don't think making the swimming motion controlled was a good idea for this game. But they just really liked the idea of the motion controls. Okay, down there, maybe either inside the tree or next to the tree on the other side. Okay, come on. Ooh. 
There we go. Hmm, that one doesn't have any more hearts for me. Okay, let's see if I can remember where it said that tadpole was. Oh, almost missed him that time. They are super annoying. They do have lots of hearts, which don't seem to sink. Okay. I think it was pointing somewhere around here. Oh, look, there's some. Just waltzing around, waiting to be captured. Oh, I got them all four in one spin. That was cool. I still don't know how to get this one. I am somewhat perplexed. Doesn't seem to be anything I can do to it underwater. I can't spin into it. But it's clearly trap trapped right there. If there was a jump button, I'd try jumping up and down on it. Try laying a bomb here. Yeah, I didn't really think that would work. Uh, try hitting it. Hmm. Claw shot. Kind of seems like a job for the whip, but it's not letting me do that. Now, okay, I remember, oh, okay, I think I have to jump from way up there on the tree. That's gotta be it, because I remember flipping a lily pad around with that method before. And then there's just gonna be three left to find in two different groups. Okay. I, think I can make it all the way up there with a jump. I might be able to with like a perfect jump. Kind of seems like I need to go inside the tree and come out. Oh boy, okay. All the water is coming from inside the tree here, so I can't go in that air that way. How did I make it? Oh yeah, I used the the, the hook shot. So if I just find where I did that from. Those guys are just extremely tenacious. Ha! Okay, from over here. I guess swimming underwater is faster. Whoa, how many hearts did that take away? Now I'm in critical health? I learned recently from watching some people play this 
at just attacking wildly against these super super weak bokoblins is actually a good idea. Okay, just need to try and make sure I jump right onto it. Yep, there we go. That's how you flip over a lily pad. Alright, I guess I need to douse to look for some more. Unless that's one right there. That looks more like an amber relic. Okay. Just two more groups to find. One of them is over there, probably in that cave. I wonder if I can spin into those rocks to get rid of that. Oh, no, I can just use that uh, explosive fish. Hmm. Those shark blimps are making making quite a bid for most annoying enemy in this game. Great, now I have to wait for that fish to respawn. Huh. How do I make him run into that? Do I have to kind of lure him over here? There we go. Okay, now where did he go? Aha. Uh -huh. I've got you, buddy. more hearts. Okay, there should be just one group left. And they are right down there. Oh, this blob enemy thinks he's guarding them. Okay, I got all of the tadpoles, Mr. Dragon. Or actually, I think this dragon is a woman. Water being decidedly more feminine than fire in general. Oh, Link, you've gathered all the tatones, haven't you? That's no small feat, or should I na s say no small beat? Cool! Ahem, anyway, hurry and return to the water dragon. I think my voice for him is a little off today due to my sore throat. But you know what they say, the show must go on. At least I, I'm sure I heard someone say that at some point. Off you go now, hurry and return to the water dragon. Oh yeah, the water dragon is inside the tree, right? Okay.
And I keep forgetting how I got inside the tree, but now I remember. Hello, water dragon. Ah, you brought back all my colorful little tad tones. You are indeed worthy of being called a hero. This much is clear. I'm good for my word, so I will teach you my part of the song you seek. Doesn't that seem like a weird little task to do to be to prove that you're worthy to be called a hero? Go d gather some tadpoles. You learned part of the song of the hero. One more part left. Originally, I had planned to keep these woods underwater so that those awful monsters could never return. But your task is far from over, and you're not exactly at home in the water. I suppose I'll return the woods to their natural state. All this excitement has been rather draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd best be on your way as well. I wonder if this is how Lake Hylia was born. Maybe after Link's quest ends, the water dragon floods the woods again, and then it remains permanently a very large lake. Oh. Yes, as I suspected, the water level in Farron Woods has dropped. The forest has returned to its former, less aquatic state. Well done, Master. You have acquired the second part of the Song of the Hero. The final part can be found somewhere within Lanayru Desert. I wanted to go there earlier, but I had no idea where to go to find the water, or the dragon. Thunder Dragon. I mean, I thought I had an idea where to go, but I was wrong. Uh, anyway, there is a goddess cube on a cliff down here somewhere. Hoping I... Get away! Get away! Man, so rude that those keys interrupt me while I'm talking. Okay, there it is. Now, if I jump from the right spot and use my sail. I can get it now. Okay, and there's a bunch of bees after me now. Now. I think I already got the treasure up here, but I'm just going to check real quick. Yeah. Oh, and I think I could have got that goddess cube by just using the hookshot. Because I think there's a hookshot target above where it was. Oh, that's over here. That's a different one. Cool. I think I'll go collect 
those open chests after I explore Lanayru Desert and get that part of the song. Now there's there's got to be a save Dealy up here, right? Viewing platform. Yeah, that's a save thing. I didn't really need to put a beak in there. Uh. Okay. To the sky. Yes. Now, wouldn't it be useful in Tears of the Kingdom if you could produce an updraft like that? All the way up to the sky? Alright, no dawdling. Let's head right to the desert. Who is this person? Hey, hey buddy, can I attack you? Yeah, never mind. Probably can't anyway. They're just on their way somewhere. Okay. Well. I think I'll head here. And see, I still don't know where to go. But I thought I remembered seeing the Thunder Dragon somewhere around here. I don't suppose Fi has any good help. This is the northwestern region of Lanayru. Investigating complex terrain. Those those hints are designed for the first time I was here, not now. Ah, oh, you know what? I need my shield. Because these guys are best dealt with like this. Okay, well, maybe if I go to the Temple of Time over there, we'll see. Oh, I turned everything off. What I want is one that can take me across this gap. Maybe that one over there? Okay, actually at this point I'm just gonna go back to the sky and warp straight to the Temple of Time.
There have been a number of versions of the Temple of Time. Oh, how did I get so far away from the hole? Um, throughout Zelda history. There was, of course, a Temple of Time. The one I consider the Temple of Time in Ocarina of Time. And then I think in Twilight Princess, you return to a temple of a version of the Temple of Time where you have to solve puzzles and stuff. Can I douse for dragons? That would be nice. <laughs> well, I don't see any dragons here. I activate the crystal in the center. I think I might need the beetle. to do it from inside there. If activating the center one doesn't work. Then I'm probably not in the right place. If I activate this crystal here, maybe if I talk to this robot, he will know where to go. You are looking for the dragon god, Zert. If it's Master Thunder. <clears throat> If it's Master Thunder Dragon you want to meet, he's he's to the south of Laneru Caves. Bzz. I don't know of any other dragons though. Fweep! Laneru Caves. South of Laneru Caves. Oh, does that does that mean? All right, I'm going back up to the sky and landing in a different location again. Does that mean I have to go back to where I originally entered the desert? Because there was a bunch of caves I went through to get to the big open desert. This is the most southern location there is. I don't think I don't see anything saying Laneru Caves. Maybe he means Laneru Mine.
there's Gorko. I think Gorko being here is a good sign. I'm gonna check up here first. Hello, hello, Link. Wait a minute. This isn't Gorko. This is this guy's name is Golo. How is your search for that sacred flame going? Did you find it? I have been dying to hear whether you found it. Well, did you? So after that wild, long adventure, you found it, Link. You are truly amazing. You know, I think it is time I tell you what I found out about the legend of the three dragons. Yes, tell us about that. I am certain there is a hidden area just beyond here in the desert. You see, I found a narrow passageway that was too tight for me to fit through. And my guts tells me that one of the three dragons of legend, the Thunder Dragon, lives there. These robots are connected to him somehow. I am sure of it, bud. The Thunder Dragon, robots, and time shift stones. What an adventure! Okay, a narrow passage was too narrow for him to fit through. Where is it though? It's not this way. Hang on, is it, can you be more specific? I found the passage that leads to where the Thunder Dragon lives. But it is too narrow for a big guy like me to pass through. If only there was a way. Is it over here? Or is it in the caves? Huh, this looks too narrow for a Goron. But I've been through here. Hang on, let's see if we can find it on our map. Could be... Laneru Caves. Oh! Maybe I go there and then go... South. They really want me to just go looking around all over the place, don't they? I don't think he's talking about that. Oh. Um, wait, this is back the way we came. Okay, I'm going to the Laneru Caves. I'm gonna cut some grass too because there might be hearts. Well, this, though, this can hardly qualify as grass. Okay, I think, yeah, and the fact that he's standing up here next to the area where I would enter the caves probably means that's where I need to go.
I think you know. I think it was first in Twilight Princess that Link got two hookshot type weapons to use. Okay. Yeah. Because this is a question mark, meaning I haven't gone there yet. Okay, we are on the right track. I'm gonna stock up on some bombs. And then we're gonna use one of these free ones. Oops. Oh good, it was close enough. Oh, we can sit down! Why didn't anyone tell me we could sit down? Ah, that's some good sit right there. Ooh, that was a good sit. Best sit I've had in years. Okay, we have some stuff to clean up. Okay, well, just to be thorough, I want to get rid of these rocks, too. And where's our bug net? Aha! Oh, I accidentally stepped on it. There was a different bug here. Where was it? Where is it? No, it was just butterflies. Yeah. This is Lene Rue Gorge. Legends tell of a dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area. Wait a minute. Fi, why didn't you tell me about that earlier? About the legends. Signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a quarry here to mine the deposit of high quality time shift stones. Consequently, the terrain is intricately subdivided with the remnants of long abandoned mining equipment such as minecarts and their tracks. Wow. Lanero is by far the biggest region. Huh. Yeah, look at this area. No wonder I misremembered where the Thunder Dragon is. I, I didn't even remember anything about this area. I think he appears like... Oh! These skeletons here. I mean, these uh, bones. I think this is the Thunder Dragon. We need to find a way to wake it up with a time shift stone. Well, I don't know if jumping over here is going to help anything right now. Also, so apparently I have to take this out, put it down, and then pick it up again. And then throw it before it explodes. Oh, and, uh, narrowly avoid falling to my death. Hey, that didn't even take away health. Entry to the area ahead is allowed only by permission of the Thunder Dragon Lenevru. Ah. Okay. And this is a big rock that I can carry, apparently. What is this? Oh, there's another ant. Maybe I can catch it without squishing it now. 
Okay, can we carry this anywhere useful? Oh boy. It's very heavy. I don't think that's what we're supposed to do with this. If it reappears here, then we need it. Nope. Apparently I need to work on my jumping. Okay, what do we have here? We can't follow this track unless we activate a time shift stone. So... Hmm. Lanayru. Yep, this is the Thunder Dragon. Alright, maybe this rock is hiding a time shift stone? No. kind of guessing that I need to go this way, but I don't have a key. Plus, there doesn't actually seem to be any way to go, go that way. I think it's just kind of a shortcut. Okay, it's got to be the other way then. Nothing I can do here. Okay, we're going to have the beetle check stuff out. I thought maybe the beetle could grab a bomb and bring it over to that rock. Something obvious here I'm missing. <laughs> oh, what's that? Something shiny down here. It's a key. I think that's a key down there. Wow. How was I supposed to find that? 
I guess just by scoping out more with the beetle. Come on. Okay, good. Well, sorry, Thunder Dragon, but I need to borrow your key. It's for a good cause, though. Like, uh, bringing you back to life and, and whatnot. I think it got away. Alright, this must be this the time shift stone we need to bring all the way back around to where the Thunder Dragon is. There are lots of big time shift stones here. Zert. Did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did? Vroom. We were just about to transport this time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. Vweep. There are many monsters. Vroom. Practice extreme caution. Bzzzert. Okay. Will do. Took him a little while to activate his electric cattle prod. Okay. How far along are we? Well, we have a ways to go. But we're getting there. Ha <laughs> ha I wonder if this dragon will teach me the song just because I woke it up. Or if it'll have another test for me. holding it up. Oh, there's another door. They must have realized they didn't really give me enough time to, uh, oh no! Okay, good. It stops me, it starts me at this door again. So, just gotta hit this button. 
And then remember that the, I'm gonna have to hook shot some stuff over here. No! Get over there! Oh. I guess you have to move left and leap. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Glad they didn't make me figure that out quicker than that. Now, how am I gonna deal with the bats while I do this? Maybe they'll leave me alone. Did I say bats? I meant keys. How far along are we? Getting there. This looks like a job for the whip. Aha, that's how you kill those. <laughs> those guys definitely look familiar to my Zelda eyes. Oh no! Swing! Ah, it's okay. I just forgot which button was jump. Oh no, okay. This time I'm gonna have to ignore the Vocoblin. These spinning spike things definitely look better here than they do in any previous Zelda game. What? Why? Why make me go around? I see. They want to make me have to get a whole bunch of stamina fruit. Yeah. 
Now, there you go. That'll take care of you. Ooh. Alright, you know what? We're not worried about you because you're just gonna disappear. Oh, we are worried about you, though. Uh, and I suppose we have to take these ones out, too. Oh, actually, we just needed to take this one out, because he's guarding the switch. Stab! Stab! What? I didn't think the door would shut on me. Well, that's kind of annoying. It's okay. I'm just... We'll just deal with the ones we need to deal with. And possibly this one. Almost there. We're almost there. Okay, now we need to do that trick with the bombs where we put it down, then pick it up, and then throw it. Oh, I see they're being stubborn about how we solve this. They want us to pick up a bomb with the beetle and take it over there. I took them both out in one swing. Ah, oh, I was too slow. Ah, uh, great. Now they're gonna make me blow up that. No, they're not. Good. It's already blown up. Okay. Here goes one, here comes two. Sometimes you just gotta slow down and use more precise movements. And 
instead of trying to be fast. Alright, Thunder Dragon, all of that better have been enough to impress you. Ooh, this one looks old. I mean, I guess that's kind of beardist. Because just because he has a beard doesn't mean he's old. We got permission from our master, the Thunder Dragon, to dig for time shift stones. Weep. But Master Thunder Dragon is very ill right now. Bzzr. I'm worried about him. Vroom. At this rate, our master may cease functioning. Weep. That must have what been what happened and why he became a skeleton. Go! Go! Oh, hello! I haven't had a visitor like you here in quite a while. You're a human, aren't you? You must have some reason for coming this far. What is it? I'm not a human, I'm a Hylian. I see, so you're Link from the sky. Oh, it's not much of a name, is it? How about I add a model number to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Link 16. Oh, I bet that screen name is taken in everything. Oh, I can tell you don't like the sound of that. That's a shame. Oh, oh. So what can I do for you? Oh, you say you need me to teach you a song. Oh, hold on now. Didn't you just say you came from the sky, Link? So then you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? I see. Well, that is something. Although I must apologize, you see, I can't really help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but, well, as you can see, I am quite ill. Oh, I'm in no shape to sing. And to think it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty. I feel the deepest shame. Whoa. Huh. Looks like we're going to have to end this video without learning the song. The robots were worried about me, so they planted a seedling from the tree of life. The fruit of this tree is said to be able to cure any illness. They planted the seedling over there. Oh, but it just won't grow. Oh, I think this is the end for me. They planted the seedling over there. On the other side of the bridge, we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life, which is said to bear fruit that can cure any illness. But trees don't grow so well around here. Weep. On the other side of the bridge. This bridge? Oh, over there. All right. Maybe we can figure this out. Now, I better... We're over an hour in already. I better just close this out. Um. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't... Uh, miss any future videos um, stay tuned for more Skyward Sword and hopefully I'll be re continuing my series on new Pokemon Snap as well soon uh, anyway this has been Meteor Bolt and uh, Meteor Bolt has struck <laughs>